bottom line is, is that I did the largest cuts in the history of the state, over $2 billion. Now, I'm asking the people of Arizona to give us a temporary revenue source for three years. If we don't receive that, then we'll have to cut another billion dollars out of the budget. We're not able to print money. We're not able to do the magic that they can do in Washington, D.C. I wanted my children to be educated. I think it's incumbent upon all of us to want that for our children and for the future. And so that is why today it is so important that we vote yes on Proposition 100. Without education, what do we have? We take these things for granted, but police and fire departments are a major part of our safety net in our community. The bottom line is, is I had a fire in my house and they responded quickly. My house didn't burn down. I didn't lose my family. I didn't lose my pets. I didn't lose my treasures. The same thing goes for the fire department with heart attack victims. You know, the response times will take longer. It could be a matter of life and death. These are the things that we're talking about if Proposition 100 doesn't pass. You know, doing the right thing almost always means doing the hard thing, but it's the right thing for our future. And you have an opportunity to make the future bright again. And you can do that by voting yes on Proposition 100.